Street, you've got with your patented heel hook, uh, persistent, holding on to that move. Walk us through the finish. Did you think he was about to escape? No, um, you know, I could hear it clicking all the way through his rolling. He's a tough kid and he didn't want to tap him. I just thought, do you know what, I'm just going to take it home. And as we were in the cage, I just locked it in, kept it tight and, and took it home. Um, I think last time, you see, I got in the position last time. What I made the position um, fault of doing last time is I transitioned to something that's called a 50-50 guard. This time I didn't, I just kept on the leg, locked the legs down and just took my time with the finish rather than rush the patient. I knew he wasn't going anywhere. I believe I've got the best leg lock setups in the world and I know no matter who I fight, I will always get in that position. And we spend time and time and time, me and my coach, my coach Jimmy Hay from Apex MMA, working and working and working on when I get into that position, how to, how to break the leg. Do you feel like the, the leg lock is something that you can continue to be successful with in, in your UFC career or what else do you have to show? I've got, I've got a lot to show when it comes to the floor. I mean, I've never been out the first round. I think I've only been probably longer than two minutes twice. Um, everything I do, I do it quick. Um, I'll submit people whatever way, but for them to get past that, they've got to get past my legs. Well, talk about... You become a professional, you sold a nightclub, you were putting a nightclub on. Yeah, I feel like a big, yeah, big yeah, deal. Yeah, but, but let's be fair, I wasn't a very good nightclub owner. <laughs> what, I, what I actually did was, I, I kind of, I, I got injured playing football, um, got a, a little bit of money, not too much money, kind of opened a nightclub, drank the profits, uh, and then my coach got over me and were like, come on in. Because it, it, it's fair, to be honest, the nightclub wasn't going anywhere. Um, and I kind of, it got me to fighting really. So I can't say I sold a nightclub. I had a nightclub and had a shocker. <laughs> what type of, um, to get those leg locks so consistently, like, what type of punishment do you have? Because like, it seems like you have to take a few shots to get them, like, or are you so focused that you don't really yeah, feel it? Well, do you know, I didn't, I, didn't feel, I didn't feel any shots tonight. Uh, obviously when you've got the leg on the base, you can't particularly feel what they're doing. They've not much power to generate when they're swinging, but Man, it's the UFC. If someone wants to take me, they can hit me. It's not another problem. Well, you said you, you were going from drinking your profits as a nightclub owner to today, drinking a Coke for the first time in 12 months. How else do you plan on celebrating your first UFC victory? Well, um, Junior Dos Santos, I bumped into uh, Junior Dos Santos at the weigh-ins. He came and sat next to me, and to be honest, I was dying in the weigh-ins. It was my first time at 135. Um, and I was dying, and Junior Dos Santos came and sat next to me, and my eyes lit up, and I was talking to Junior Dos Santos, because Ever since I started fighting, really, I, I wanted to be on a call with Junior Dos Santos, so I was just speaking to him and I, I told him that. Um, and then he, he gave me a pair of his trainers, he's got his own trainers, and he, he, give, he gave me a pair of his trainers, which me and my dad, he said, hey bro, he said, you win and I win tomorrow, he said, we both go and celebrate together, so I'm going to go and celebrate with Junior Dos Santos after he wins, which I couldn't ask for that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you, sir. Congratulations.